Welcome back to what? Couple movie watchers. With Anna. In Ryan. That's right. We up here talking about couple movie watchers. We're gonna break down the top grossing Harry Potter films of all time. But before we get started, what do you gotta do? Like, subscribe, and comment. You know what to do. Now, if you didn't know, Anna's a huge Harry Potter fan. Is that right? Yes. And that's your favorite series of all time? Yes. She even got what? A tattoo? What? Yeah, I got a tattoo from him. Uh-huh. So she is ink and blood when it comes to this Harry <laughs> Potter stuff. So when we talk about Harry Potter, we're going to talk about the worldwide growth. So which movie do you think is in, at the number eight spot when it comes to Harry Potter movies? Eight spot? Yep. Well, with no further ado, we're just going to let the people know. It is... Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And how much money did that movie make worldwide? $789 million. Dollars. Yep. Dang. They ball in. So this movie cost about $130 million to make. Uh, it's opening uh, weekend. It made $93 million at the domestic box office. Domestically, it made $249 million. And like we said, worldwide... Uh, around $789 million worldwide. Wow. I'm they not a greedy money, man. Money. They make that money, right? Yeah. I'm not a greedy person. All I want is a couple of million. They made almost a billion dollars uh, with this particular film. So what did you think about that film? Did you like it? Where does that stand in your favorite Harry Potter films? It's one of my favorites, actually. It has a lot of action and thrill. And it's, it's just fun. It's a fun movie. Oh, okay. It looks like it's at the bottom of the list, but it's all good. So next up, we have... Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Making $879 million worldwide. Wait, 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 wait. 876. $876 million worldwide. They ball in. This one only costs $100 million to make. So you're talking about eight times um, the money made worldwide. So this one costs about $100 million to make. Domestically, it made $260 million. And worldwide, it made almost a billion like we've seen mm -hmm. previously. So, man, Harry Potter, man, mm -hmm. uh, she's balling the credit of this uh, series. So it is all to the good. How did you like this one? Mm, I didn't like it too much. You didn't like it too much? No. Uh, I saw it good. Enough people liked it where they got another billion, billion <laughs> almost on the racks. All right, next up we got... Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. What? This will make $891 million yep. worldwide. Man, Harry Potter, man, I need to become a wizard. That's where all the money's at. <laughs> this one costs a little more at $150 million. But man, as much money as they made at the box office, uh, almost making a billion dollars, $290 million of that came from domestic box office growth. So... Man, they are doing a thing when they come to Harry yeah, Potter I, franchise. This one was actually my favorite one out of all of them. Mm. Yeah, and it's just like how they all grow up from a kid to a teenager, and you know, dealing with the drama, <laughs> teenage drama. Oh, it's drama, man. These yeah. damn teenagers, man. They don't know what they're talking about. So next up on this list, we got Harry Potter and a Half Blood Prince. Hey. Let them know how much that made. Nine hundred thirty million dollars worldwide. This one about, is also a good one. Man, they like all good one. ones to you. Yeah, so, <laughs> not all of them. I like the most of them. them good. Yeah. So yeah, this one, man, this one, this <laughs> one did uh, nine hundred and thirty million dollars worldwide. Man, this one actually costs a little bit more than others at two hundred fifty mm -hmm. million dollars. Uh, so this one definitely costs a pretty penny. But, but they got that money back. They got that money back, man. You got to start paying these, these actors. It was like, we need a little bit more money. I, I need to get paid. So Harry Potter probably got a little boost in that salary. So it is all to the good, man. And domestically made $302 million. So it definitely mm -hmm. did its thing here in the States, in North America. All right. So next up, we got that Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix making wow. $940 million. Man, mm -hmm. how do you like this one? That one, he gets a little dark in that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He uh, has to deal with everything and just he feels alone and stuff. So it's relatable. Oh, okay. And okay. I just felt like, oh, it's a good, you know, dark, dark movie for Harry Potter. You guys agree with that? Let me know in the comment section. This one costs $150 million to make. Uh, domestically, it made $292 million, opening up with $77 million. Mm -hmm. not too shabby yeah. and this one went on to make almost a billion dollars yeah. they all, they're all almost touching a billion but 
Each one is getting closer and closer, closer on this yeah. list. Mm-hmm. All right, next up we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Mm-hmm. Man, this one made $955 million. This one only cost $125 million to make. Wow. Man, they balling over here, man. Like, who they getting that money? That Harry Potter money is, this, this is not even counting the books. We're just talking about the movies. Mm-hmm. At the at the movie theater, it's not talking about the books, DVD sales, Blu-ray sales, mm-hmm. streaming, yeah. where wherever is that? Actually, all the products, all the too. products. You know, you don't really see these on like Netflix, right? No, there you can only watch it right now. It's on um, HBO, HBO Max, Max. Right? yeah, that's the yeah. Thing. Netflix, or you have to buy them. Yeah, Netflix yeah. don't give you them high quality movies. Like we touching a billion dollars, <laughs> Netflix was like, no. Watch this uh this random movie that we got on Netflix, so Bright Part One. So mm-hmm. so it is all good. So yeah, Harry Potter doing his thing. Next up, man, we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's the first one. That's the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Man, this is still actually one of the top grossing ones out of all of them, making mm-hmm. nine hundred and sixty five million dollars. So that one actually got close to a billion mm-hmm. closer than the other ones. And this one's crazy. Crazy, right? Mm-hmm. This one cost $125 million to make. It opened up with $90 million. So to be honest, I think I've only seen one and two. I've never seen the rest of them. I know, right? I'm a horrible mm-hmm. person. But then, yeah, like the music was great. John Williams. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like the classic, the original. I want to say the director of the Home Alone series did this movie, the first two Home Alones. All right, moving on. We have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. So let the people what? know this one. This one actually touched that uh that billion dollar mark, making one billion three hundred thirty four million dollars worldwide. The people came out in force. It made three hundred eighty one million dollars uh, domestically. You know, opened up big domestically with one hundred sixty nine million dollars. So people really came out to see. Uh, that was actually the final installment, right? Yeah, that was the last one. It was the last. Was it the best? Did you feel satisfied at the end? Or do you feel like Game of Thrones? The ending for me personally, like it kind of felt like Game of Thrones. Like mm. they messed up. Like they were trying to make them look old. I feel like they should have used those older characters, not not them with like some fake makeup. I'm just saying. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that's, that's only the only, only downside of that movie. Yeah, you know I haven't seen it, but um, I might watch it. But man. That's crazy. That's a billion dollar. Mm-hmm. Like this movie alone made a billion dollars. That's that's that is insane. I'm trying to make a billion dollars. You know, actually, I just want a couple of million, man. Just give me like five million, I'll be happy. You know, I'm not a greedy person. Mm-hmm. I could I could flip that into something and make make some more money. But uh, yeah, overall, this franchise made a little over seven billion dollars. We can count all the movies mm-hmm. worldwide gross, and we're just talking about the movie franchise at the box office. We're not talking about streaming DVDs. Merchandise, books, yeah, that all together, man. You're talking about probably this is probably like over a fifty billion dollar franchise when you add up the movie theaters, DVDs, uh, streaming, toys, yeah, the rides they have, Product, Universal products, stuff. you know. So a lot of people got paid off this Harry Potter games too. They have video games, games. So whatever you need, they got it. So uh, yeah, so let us know which movie was your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Yes. We're, we're trying to get to a billion subscribers, or at least a million, man. You know, there's a lot of people with a million subs. We ain't got a million subs. We ain't even got a thousand subs. Help us get to a thousand subs. Not even a hundred. Not even a hundred. Hopefully, when you're watching this video, we can have like 50,000 subs. Yeah. So let's add to that number, and it'll be all good. By doing so, you let us know you are a Harry Potter fan. A. You are a movie lover. A. You are a human being. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You care about the welfare of life and you want to have a successful life as well so that's what we do here we talk about movies uh numbers especially box office numbers results in top 10 movies man whatever else we want to talk about movie and tv show related or just shooting the, the breeze the right box office too yeah we talk about all that good stuff so oh, yeah um that's it anything else you want to say to the people get a tattoo <laughs> get that get that harry potter tattoo man yes All right, peace. Peace.